It's a breach map. Yoru map. Breach map. Yoru map. Wait. Huh? Welcome to my world. A viper map? Oh no. Uh, ah! <laughs> Valorant's newest map, Sunset, is finally being played by professionals, and they're starting to reveal the most optimal way to play this map. Agents are starting to mark their territory, teams are figuring out what parts of the map are worth fighting for, and it offers a brand new way to play that we're seeing for the first time ever. And spoiler alert, Cloud9 are undefeated on this map with their patented Yoru comp. So, sorry Jet, but I think it's time for a new face on top of the Duelist food chain. Today, we're breaking down the emerging sunset meta that teams are starting to abuse and this new era of Tier 1 Valorant. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, Teats, why does Jet suck now? Well, uh, I don't know how to put this gently. She just doesn't get the job done anymore. Why play her when you can play an agent that does what she can, but a million times better? Kind of like other recording softwares versus Outplayed. Wait, huh? That's right, guys. If you want to record your gameplay with ease, trim clips with a push of a button, and share them with your buddies faster than you could Instalock Duelist, Outplayed is the only capturing app you need. It's simple. The app automatically secures and labels your best moments or favorite plays. And once your match ends, you flip through your clips, sort through the ones you want, and save or share them with your friends. Oh, and did I mention that it's free? I've personally used Outplayed for endless amounts of hours, either to record the clips you see in my videos, to VOD review when I was competing and grinding ranked, and treasuring funny moments with my friends on other games. I promise, Outplayed does not disappoint. So try Outplayed today for free using my link in the description. I mean, it costs you nothing, so why not? Oh, wow. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unique agents from both teams and on a brand new map. <sighs> it feels like a breath of fresh air. Teams are experimenting, trying new agents, and no one really knows what to play yet. And it's games like these that make Valorant so great. Uh, even though Viper is still here, uh, there's much to learn from this match about this new addition to the map rotation. Foot's game plan is to heavily fight for mid in their 1-3-1 setup, where they have anchors on the wings, but the Raisin Sage are going full battle mode in mid, with their Breach supporting them from behind. Now, Viper better be ready, because she has a party of five ready to barrel down B main, but her wall should help her out significantly. It's laid out in such a way that it gives Viper cover to sprint and duck behind if the attackers come her way. As a matter of fact, this toxic screen leans into how sight should be played. I mean, look. It's like C on Haven, but more defender sided. In this area, there's a narrow choke point that the defense can clog up, preventing the offense from taking back sight. Then over here, there's this awkward ledge that the attackers need to hop up on in order to claim the extra breathing room that's necessary if you plan to gun it up B. So this wall, and Viper in general, plays perfectly to how Riot built this site. But Cloud9's toxic screen divides B in such a way that it allows them to safely close the distance between them and the defense, and then explode. So, if these two can close the gap, this rush can work. But it's Foot who are the ones moving quick. As soon as the barrier drops, Breach aftershocks tiles, Sage walls it off, and Ray's nades bottom mid. This combined utility would divide the attackers, slow them down, and allow Foot to take isolated duels and set up in this area. Area. But it doesn't matter. Cloud9 has whipped a flash, trucked through the defense's molly, sent out their trailblazer and gate crash, forcing Yedu J to drop back and brace for impact. Forward. See that gate crash moving forward as well. Yedu J could be taking some damage there from the dog into the corner though. Zeppa based up. Oxy able to find one, get straight it out. Crax is able to double up, find himself a second kill, looking for the third, but can't quite steady the aim. He falls as the Swift are falling. See that now arriving to the fight. Out of Captain Helver swinging the corner. The paranoid Curry. Cloud9 tried to muscle through and bear hug the site. Rays satchel up the sledge behind their trailblazer while Yoru used their Viper wall as cover to exit the choke and flash through once deep enough in the site. I mean, in theory, there was enough firepower to tackle this awkward site, but right as Yudajay got bit, Mr. Fallen ripped his fault line, saving his teammate by the skin of his teeth. This split second decision bought just enough time for Foot to rush it over, flood, and shut down Cloud9's B rush. I mean, I told you, hitting this site, especially head on, is one tall order, even for double duelists. What the? Hold on. What did the title card say? It says anti eco. 
Uh, okay, well, I guess Foot were expecting Cloud9 to save, making this weaker buy <laughs> theoretically okay. But because the offense forced, this makes this round pretty even. And Foot's plan is the same as last. Stalin tiles with Sage's wall, breaches Aftershock, and his fault line, so they can primarily focus on bottom mid and lock down this area. But Cloud9 are doing a complete 180 this round and are taking it slow in their 2-1-1-1 default. While these four scout for information, Sky plans on creating a ruckus A main. Her and Omen start the round by trading a smoke for a flash, and this bird pops, telling Vanity that no one's elbow. Hmm. If no one's holding on that side, then there has to be someone on the other. So Vanity hops into the smoke and flashes Omen. Atta Captain is allergic <laughs> to birds, so he has to back off. And Mr. Fallen is rotating over to pick up Elbow. Now here's where the weakness of Foot's comp starts to show. While they are great at brawling and fighting for map control, they have zero information gathering tools, except for a Boombot that lasts for about as long as I do. So because Atta Captain has given up this line, this has forced Breach to rotate over and pick up Elbow, weakening Foot's defense overall. Now normally, a Sky Sova, Fade, or a Sentinel could fall back, but then later use their other utility to re-clear this space and hold this one third of the map on their own, which is pretty similar to A Lobby and Haven or A Main on Split. As the defense, your goal should be to fight and get someone or something posted on these lines so that your teammates can go four stack the rest of the map. Like I just mentioned, A on Split, Lobby on Haven, Rubble on Lotus, A Main is king on Sunset. And Foot just lost it and two of their three guns are over here. If Cloud9 go B, Foot are in a bad spot, and they're going B. Now, because Cloud9 have been quiet as mice so far, Foot have no idea that the offense has forced up. And with their Viper Wall and Double Dive Comp, Cloud9 should be able to close the distance and get in close with their Stingers. No one rotating in towards mid. Bite up over the top. Line up here from Curry. The drop down just in front of that Nebula. Flash at the ready, break on a one. Oxy pushing forward, oh, finds the first kill. Seppa oh, oh, oh. is well gonna be able to take down CNET. That's so Cloud9 hit foot with the same left right one two combo that we saw on pistol round. Except this time, Yoru flashed his decoy through the wall, and Breach's fault line wasn't here to save Rays. Because Cloud9 applied pressure towards A, they were able to spread the defense more thin and force a weaker B hold. The rest of Foot have rushed over from spawn and attempt to flood, but there just isn't enough left in the tank to turn the tide. To win this one out with the force buy, and so far it is looking great. Oxy with three. Mr. Fallen just around the corner starts peeking. He will end up dropping as Mr. Fallen does find two, but with three HP and three more players to get through, it's just a nigh impossible task, especially with the flank coming around the backside. Vanity arrives, takes him down, and we will be tied up right off the rip. So Cloud9 forced Stingers because they got the planted on Pistol, and then because Foot didn't buy up on their anti-eco, they're now buying Vandals of their own and are all forcing behind them. And I don't think Cloud9 are expecting the force back. Uh, this game has both teams constantly playing at about even buys, no matter who's winning or losing. Now, the attackers have completely switched their focus from B and are now in a 1-4 default, leaning A. And Foot have also swapped their setup. Uh, slightly. A breach isn't helping Sage fight for mid anymore, but instead, they've put the close range weapons on A and hope to hold onto this map control and not be scared off by a couple birds this time. But uh, can two SMGs hold off all four of these players? The dynamic duo start by comboing a stun in one way to lock down A main, immediately shutting out Cloud9. This is the first time Foot have done this, so the attackers are cautious. Are they heavy fighting a main? They decide to sit back and wait out the initial smoke as Curry holds their caboose. But after it gets refreshed, Cloud9 decide to come up with a plan to combat this annoying one way. Astra places a star, pulls it back, and it's followed up with a boombot and sky flash. This sudden burst of resistance has pushed Mr. Fallen back and has dragged Atta Captain back to help. But now that Cloud9 have pushed back the defense, they move into stage two of their game plan. Jake places a star top mid, both him and Zeppa scale through tiles, and look, the door is closed. If the defense shuts this door and it never gets broken, they, just like on A, can stack other parts of the map and leave mid weaker until this is broken. And speaking of doors, while Cloud9 was rotating, Sage has just raised a wall on A, locking out potential lurks, and they've left Omen to hold this one third of the map with said wall. So despite not having any information agents, they've managed to use Sage's barrier like a jumbo cipher trap wire, reinforcing this part of the map. And now her and Breach can safely stack B, knowing that Omen will be okay until this wall breaks. But can they get back in time to beat Cloud9's B split? The attackers bust down the door, Trailblazer to clear out B, and we're starting to see a similar pinch that we've seen in both other executes. But they're not taking back sight. Moment. 
around the Rosie here on the B site. Jake finding one, but CNED takes out two. Zemba and Jake now both gonna fall. Oh, he he hasn't seen him, but now he notices at the end of J. Ends up getting taken down with CNED on for a 3K. Teats, why did it Cloud9 take back site? I thought you said that you need that space if you're going B. Well, I'm a liar, kinda. When going B, you do need extra space. It's just that this time, Cloud9 took market instead. With this space, your team can plant front sight and still set up in a strong post plant. But Cloud9 wanted to force the issue with their rifles by taking these fights alongside the ledge. Now, what they didn't take into account was that foot might have forced back and that CNED is nasty. He's gotten three, it's a three versus two, you should hit the subscribe button, and foot don't want to let Cloud9 get comfortable, so they strike. Left standing. Oh. Satchel's forward, trying to close the gap here. Seen it with 15 HP. Wants to be the tip of the spear. Flash goes in. Mr. Fallen. Melted down. Stinger finding the kill. Swap over to the Sheriff. Curry finds himself a second. And now out of captain. The last one standing. He's so low, but Curry gets the headshot. After Curry's heroics last round, Foot are busting out the big guns with a crazy trap set up on B and their major stall duo on A. But well, what the this wall is it for retake i hate it regardless it looks like cloud nine are headed right for this trap and their three two spread vanity pokes the sleeping bear by immediately flashing b and curry flips up his wall cned responds with his boom bot it gets broken but add captain locks them out behind a smoke if cloud nine take one step closer omen is ripping his paranoia breach is stunning for market and raise is unleashing her showstopper so do they dare go past this smoke no, they decide to turn back and wait it out. Eventually they do come back and Zeppa lays down his boom. Wait, hey, yo, where are you guys going? Aw, well, well that sucks. I mean, it makes sense. Because mid was open for so long, Foot didn't feel comfortable leaving such a big gap in their defenses. But had they waited a little bit longer, this potential trap would have obliterated Cloud9. That's why information agents are such essential workers. Regardless, Cloud9 have successfully slotted Curry into B main, Sky grabs the orb, and phase two of their super secret master plan begins. <laughs> They're gonna go grab the other orb. So as Jake is patrolling mid, Vanity and Zeppa meet up with Oxy, who's broken the Sage Ball, wait out the Poison Orb, they trailblazer through main, and start making a commotion. Zeppa satchels, nades, satchels again, Vanity grabs his second orb, and Cloud9 immediately fall back into phase three. Fake A. So Sky rips her Brussels sprouts, and the attackers whip out their knives, sprinting their way through mid, filing into market. The defenders were rotating off B, but after the cabbages, there wasn't any noise. The B players hold their position, add a captain smokes main, and with little time left, they brace for a collision. Into mid, into B market. The flash is looking for something, doesn't find anything. Expecting seconds. more behind the Viper, doesn't see anything, sends out the rocket, no damage gonna be found, and now CNED, aim is offset, but they have to get the plan, it's just in time, they oh. can't interrupt it, it would seem, he's just out of line of sight, the spike is Whoa. down, but Yenna Jay gets the collide. After losing all B main pressure, Cloud9 adapted perfectly by planting safely under ledge and fending off any defenders trying to disrupt the plant and have time expire. Ideally, you'd like more room than this to set up in a post plant, but the offense only had market, meaning this was the optimal plant spot. But then they lined up. This unfortunate mishap puts Oxy and Vanity in a rough spot. One of them needs to make a play. Vanity and Oxy now the last one standing. Oxy comes away barely with the headshot. Bring it now into a 2v2, but he is flanked and he is dead. Crax finds it now, it's all in the IGL. Spotting Mr. Paul for a brief little moment. The fault line gets it, stun and vanity cannot line up the headshot. Without their showstopper, Foot have disassembled the trap, but earn a similar 2-1-2 setup, prioritizing A and B main. Now Cloud9 have shifted their focus toward mid in their 4-1 default. Middle on Sunset, similar to other maps, is vital as it allows you to split B easily like we've seen before. But there's one purpose I haven't touched on yet, and that's pushing deep into spawn. Because of the way the top mid is built, attackers can smoke one side and push deeper than usual, forcing defenders to have two players patrolling this area. So if the defenders are contesting A main, come to mid, mess around in here, and then go back now that it's weaker. Also, defaulting against a Sage-only Sentinel comp is a great idea. Because once her barrier is down, the defense no longer has any utility that can passively gather information, forcing them to spread thin. And that's Cloud9's plan. The defense start the round by comboing their stun and smoke again to secure A, and Crax locks them out behind his wall. But Oxy doesn't break it right away. He's patient, like a snake, waiting for the perfect time to strike. 
In the meantime, his teammates have contacted out mid, and the only thing they had to use was a smoke. Zeppa pokes a bit deeper by activating his Roomba, and a captain blocks him off with a dirty one way, but Oxy takes down cracks. His patience has paid off. Like I said, Foot don't have a lot of great ways to get information, meaning the only way they can get info is to peek. So the defense's strongest side anchor has just had a great fall off her wall. So Atta Captain is forced to give up Boba and go help Breach on A, who's also worried about this Sky Flash that's burst through top mid. Now Cloud9 have done some process of elimination. Yedu J has just ulted, and Yoru's spotting a main, while his teammates are mid. So, odds are very likely that this big stink is on B. And Cloud9 don't want to run into this no man's land, so they start to slowly gather over towards A. Now Foot are going to try and leave Viper solo by having CNED close this door and then go join his team on A. But he's stopped in his tracks as Jake breaks it, forcing CNED to stay. All of this defaulting has planted Foot into a 2-0-2. Exactly what you want if you're attacking. Come through for Yetta J. Too much attention over on this side of the map. Okay, Dog will be able to see too. Hey, Chels, going forward, Bolt Life not going to connect. They're already well past that one. Flash out of the smoke. Nothing going to be spotted. Paranoia goes across, but oh, out of Captain dead before it hits Oxy. Mr. Fallen, however, managing to find two. Rolling Thunder now going to be coming across the spike. Already planted. Jake, however, able to find one. You want to find Good guy, taken down. Now the Cosmic Divide coming into play. Pain Shell to try to clear them. Zeppa right there. trying to sneak his way up forward. Close to CNED. He's swinging around the back. Spots him. Takes him out midair. Now it's all on Mr. Fallen. Surrounded the wall. Not doing him any favors. Still swings the corner. Catches one. But Jake down low. He has to try to take these fights. The wall going to be expiring here in a moment. If you can isolate. There's one. Turns from the flash. He's trying to push it. He's in the corner. The classic sound. Fallen gets the ace. But he cannot get the defuse. All right, I didn't want to talk during that movie, but if you thought Oxy was patient, well, he is, but the entirety of Cloud9 are too. Not wanting to eat a whole Omen Flash and Breach done, the entire offense came through Tallbox, and Cloud9 were up 5-3. to three. But Mr. Fallen lined up two, evening the odds, and gave himself his ult. This forced the attackers off site, and the defense hoped that Yuta Jake could backstab the offense on his flank, but Jake was too aware. And look where Raze went. The ult launched her into spawn, and because no one was fighting her, she stumbled into a timing. So Cloud9's new objective isn't to take fights on CNN and Mr. Fallen, but to instead stall and buy time for Zeppa to finish his flank. This patience and discipline from every player on Cloud9 paid off big time, winning them a crucial swing round. Cloud9 have started to notice a common trend. Hey, every round so far, Foot aren't heavily contesting mid. They're fighting the wings, and vice versa. So if we take mid again, there's probably only one person there, and we might be able to overwhelm them and split open the map. Split? This is Sunset. Cloud9 have figured out that if Foot are fighting the wings, mid is free. And if it's free, they want to isolate the straggler in their 1-3-1 default. And their read is right. Foot are fighting both extremities in their 2-1-2 setup. Meaning, CNN needs to be careful. If he falls, there's going to be a big hole in the defense. And Foot show their hand immediately to Cloud9. Sage and Breach come with their wall and stun off the rip. And because Omen's dark cover bloomed right as the round started, he has to be close by. And Viper threw her orb down in this choke. All of this has given Cloud9 all the information they need to start contacting up mid. Vanity and Zeppa come out from bottom. Jake moves through tiles. He smokes top mid and starts to peek into market. Vanity lets his dog loose and they take down CNED. But Cloud9 aren't stopping. Because mid is now wide open, Zeppa and Jake know someone is going to drop back to pick up this space. With spawn butt naked, Zeppa keeps pushing forward. Now because of his and Curry's positioning, Cloud9 are formed to pinch B from not one, not two, but three different lanes. Means. But Yaduji recognizes his team needs to make up for this major loss of map control. Taking matters into his own hands, he pushes main, and Viper diffs Curry. With B-Main clear, him and Atta Captain turn their attention to market, but Cloud9 have pivoted to meet up with Raze and spawn. The map has been flipped, the attackers look like defenders, and foot here Cloud9 stomping through spawn. You can just find a couple more kills. Nade at the ready. Down past the smoke, it goes past Atta Captain so he can maintain his position. Zeppo wants to swing in, and he's punished for that. They couldn't clear the dark cover, and the plant is stalled. But Oxy's here. Interrupt on the plant. Spike not down just quite yet. Oxy, however, comes in with a huge flank. Vanity dropping down onto the low ground. Nasty. Dies, but Oxy remaining. is quick on the reply. All on Mr. Fallen. Been quite clutch here for them, but they will just counter spray back into the smoke. 
I told you guys, Cloud9 is incredibly patient. Notice how when Oxy was close to flanking foot, his teammates slowed down and allowed him to take contact before making the next move. To have the discipline in the midst of all this chaos and being able to recognize how and when to abuse mid against this comp is only something you see at the highest level. Do you remember when I mentioned how rushing B is tough as you can't pinch sight without some serious firepower? Well, Cloud9 have some serious firepower and they're going B. With this many ults, you can kind of have free tickets to do whatever you want. And as much as Foot have been locking down the wings, they aren't going to stop this horde. So this is a very, very important round for Foot. Okay, the mask goes on. Oxy checking the backside, wants to just run forward. Rocket goes out, Geta J goes down. Oxy running out of time, goes into the smoke, decides to pull it, oh. has the shorty! CNET able to find two, however, one with the paint shells, one with the vandal. The B anchors did not expect Cloud9 to go this fast behind their Sky Flash, and this quick scale of utility allowed Raze to find one with a rocket and Oxy to get at a captain while he was trying to hold them back with his paranoia. But once again, CNET has saved foot, evening out the odds. But they're faced with another issue. What on earth are Cloud9 doing? Because of the recent Cosmic Divide buff, you can't hear anything that's going on on the other side. Before, it was only muffled, and CNET would be able to tell his teammates whether or not they were planning. But now that it completely cancels any noise, it's the best fake tool in the game, as it allows you to cut sights in a multitude of ways, and it'll always keep the enemy guessing. So Cloud9 book it through Market, and then spawn, suspecting that foot would have flanked against such an aggressive hit. They're sprinting towards A, but Curry stays back, posted up in a strong off angle, trying to catch rotates back. But foot haven't moved yet. The cosmic divide has kept the defense anchored, not knowing where the attackers were going. It wasn't until the spike was planted that they finally started moving, and Curry is hearing every move. He's telling his teammates that every foot member is going through spawn. So Cloud9 adjusts their post spawn setup. Curry begins to sneak up for the backstab, but I think CNET knows. Hunting as one. Swing out. Curry going to be shut down. CNED able to find his third kill here. As the showstopper gets drawn out, he's looking for a target. Jake just around the corner. Flash comes in. The swing out from Zeppa. Finds two. Rocket takes him down, but Jake strikes simultaneously. Now in the last two rounds in the half, Cloud9 slammed A main, and since Sage walled off this left side, the offense slammed Elbow, taking two down. This opened the map, allowing Curry to find a ridiculous timing, his teammates played patient again, allowing him to shut out the round. And like I said, problems like this can occur when you're not running a traditional Sentinel. And then in the following round, I think Foot had a brain fart. They did this weird Viper ult that clogged up bottom mid, but not tiles, meaning that throughout the round, Viper is going to be constantly paranoid that someone could walk out at any given time. Ults like these are just bad, because you're going to need someone or commit something to hold this area, when that's really supposed to be the ult's job. Overall, this round was just really weird, with both teams just all over the place. But Foot thrived through the chaos, bringing them to 3-9. to nine. Then they ended up losing Pistol, thanks to good rotates from Cloud9, allowing Jake to be here just in time to spam 2 through the smoke. Foot lost Pistol, the anti-eco, and to be honest, this game has been a lot closer than the scoreline seems. But now it's time for Cloud9's bonus. Now Foot are aware that teams like to bundle up their worst weapons on these low buy rounds to make an aggressive play, so they're starting pretty far back. Especially against a double duelist comp, the odds that Cloud9 push out are pretty likely. But they don't. Their plan was to set Yoru up on this line on A main and then go stack this half of the map. And because Yoru's teleport isn't instant, he can't just sit in the open and get one and live, like Jet, Chamber, or Reyna. It's better that he plays in one and duns where he can fight, tuck, and then TP. And Elbow has a couple good spots like that. So if Foot don't apply pressure here and force Yoru to back off, they're going to run into an army on B. But they're convinced an aggressive play is coming. For the first 50 seconds, they don't take any map control except for Yuta J lurking up with his wall. And because no other pressure is happening around the map, he gets spammed hard. And then when his wall drops, he gets eliminated. Now because Foot didn't create pressure on this vital part of the map, they're forced to pay the ultimate price. Zeppa swings into the site, managing to find one. The paint shells drop. CNET gets out in front of them, but Zeppa still managing to find the elimination, just snapping on. They're fairly committed to having to play into this side of the map. Oh Zeppa my. on for an ace. Do we get a second one? Out of Captain trying to TP backward, and we will have it. This time it leads to a round victory.
If you're playing on Sunset, don't let the enemy team get this much value. Pressure A, break these sight lines, and if that's being contested, fight middle to alleviate that pressure. That's just how you play Sunset. And it reminds me a lot of how you should be playing Split. Fnatic did a good job at that in this video right here.